we knew that initially when we went to deliver vaccines to five to 11 year olds and 12 plus, it, it caused a lot of um, anxiety regardless of ethnicity and ethnicity compounded that problem. Um, I, I knew the site very well, but it was a, a, a very calm community hospital setting called St. Luke's. So I knew that that would offer calmness, reassurance, parking space, all the other amenities. And it was a pediatric outpatient department, so it was a credible site. When we started, the numbers were low. So then I needed to have a little, because each time I opt, um, undertake an intervention, I collate the data and then understand review. So then the concept of opening it up as a multi-generational access might have some mileage. I didn't know whether it would work or not, but I knew that to me it made sense. I have lived experience from an ethnic minority background as a leader. So for me, holistic approaches always work. Um, holistic supportive family engagements are a thing that seems to appeal. So as a midwife, that's my other clinical um, background. That's really important. You need to know your patients and service users. So I knew as a midwife with neonatal background, nursing background, that holistic models approach works. If one family member is going to take action to protect themselves, then you know the next person and family would be would be you know proactively doing that. So we opened up the family access multi-generational careful planning mapping to ensure clinical governance, safety, and delivery of multiple vaccines was integral. So I needed to know and understand all that and ensure my teams and the system knew this. So all that infrastructure needed to be in place. And we opened it up and we were delighted that, you know, grandparents, parents, uh, uh, th third generation people were able to attend. And it was such a lovely uh, scene to see that it was also ethnically diverse and people were just queuing up. And that went on for about 18, 19 months until we were able to move into a business as usual delivery mo model. But that was a, a real revelation of what we knew of our communities, what we knew of healthcare delivery, um, that you can't isolate people and try to deliver because it's about the three C's, isn't it? The vaccine influencing factors convenience, complacency, and confidence, all those factors needed to be in, in, you know, thought of carefully, and it worked. I think the shopping centre hub was also a, a massive success. I think possibly 50,000 vaccines were delivered in, in a year's time, and it was the hard to reach. Um, so your younger people, ethnically diverse, also into the mix. Because when you're young, I suppose you think that you're fit and well, and that would be enough. So people's lack of understanding around how this virus behaves was lost. And even though we were messaging, it was more about needle phobia, having to make the trek. So if we could take it into a setting um, to dispel white coats, and the shopping centre we knew from behavioural science that University of Sheffield have did some work around. So, so I read that up and then I thought, well, how can we do that? Let's try it. So we started the engagement. And each time we did that, I didn't know what we, whether it would work, but it was important to trial it. And it did, it was a huge success. Young people, ethnically diverse, Chinese, refugee, refugees, asylum seeker communities would just come in and it would be done. The staff enjoyed it. The staff enjoyed the atmosphere. It was very positive going in in our clinical uniform. At one time, we had a clap as we walked in. Uh, well, right on at the beginning, we had the NHS clap as we were going in. So the staff felt motivated. So I would not, I wasn't ever going to be short-staffed. Enjoying the atmosphere and serving their communities.